So hello everybody, I would like to welcome our audience, everybody who is listening right now. My name is Jiří Borč and I have here honor to welcome my good colleagues, friends who are concerned and experts in CRM. I would like to welcome, this is a relaxed uh, discussion about CRM. So everybody who is listening is welcome now. And guys, uh, I will start with int introductions. I am myself from Plzeň, Czech Republic, and I would like to uh, welcome our first speaker, Bojan Jordanov. Can you tell us, Bojan, can you introduce yourself very briefly to us in the relation to our talk today? Thank you. My name is Bojan Jordanov. Um, I'm from Sofia, Bulgaria. Uh, I'm in business for 20 years, uh, BL Consulting. So quite experienced uh, uh, my own business and uh, recently we formed this sustain group Look here. It's a bit difficult to uh, navigate. We are partners of three companies. So uh, for about 15 years we work from anywhere. So anywhere means mostly home office, but uh, it's really anywhere. This for me, Thank you for inviting me and hope uh, everybody can get something valuable from this conversation. Yeah. Definitely. When we were beginning the conversation, I could see the hall behind you, but now I can see only half of it. So if you can zoom on your uh, behind you, there is some information this, about uh, your company. Yes. It's okay. It's not. Okay. It's mostly done by my kids. I have three kids. Nice. Little, right. like, <laughs> Thank you, Boyan, for your introduction from Bulgaria. And now I would like to welcome Tomáš Havrda. Tomáš, can you introduce yourself with the relation to the topic today, please? Okay. So hello, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, working as uh, enterprise architect uh, 20 years uh, for hundreds uh, companies already. And uh, my interest today is uh, how to uh, choose the, the best CRM system uh, and uh, uh, implement it, uh, it uh, to the whole architecture uh, of other uh, systems and uh, information systems and applications. So this is... Thank you very much, Thomas. And we have a very special guest here today, also Raj from India. Uh, Raj, can you tell us something about yourself very quickly, please? Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever is your best time zone. I'm from India. Uh, I have to do small, medium and large businesses with the help of the mobile application, website and cloud development services. Also experience in more than a decade of uh, development, designing, all kinds of things. And uh, yeah, more the part of the CRM is, uh, is everyone want to your business in growing, right? So what of everyone want to update your business day to day and uh, after that report and all kind of things. So everyone needs uh, CRM. So it is a big necessary of the, every business, is small, large or medium size no matter so yeah let's get more discussion in the meeting right thank you perfect thank you very much Raj and the uh, last guest here today is Keith from Ireland Keith could you please uh, be welcome to introduce yourself to us as well if you feel like it uh, well actually I'm just here to listen and learn because when you invited me uh, I didn't know what I was actually coming to so I'm here to listen and learn Yes, of course, this is all by all means. You are very welcome and please be welcome to listen to us. And uh, thank you for being here. My name is Yiji Borc. I am here today as a moderator of this uh, of this business show. And again, I would like to welcome all our listeners. Uh, thank you very much for listening to CRM Business Talk with us today. And my first question, I would like to give again words to Bo Bo Boyan. Please uh, tell us what is CRM? What is the definition? What is it actually? Well, uh, CRM as abbreviation stands for Customer Relationship management so uh, this was this is the literal uh, explanation on the primary goal it's a software solution that 
uh, helps companies manage better uh, the way they interact with the customers. So this is uh, very brief. If you start digging inside this, uh, you can go to much more details about specific functionalities, covering specific uh, use cases, processes, and activity of the company. Thank you, Goran. And, and I also to... want to say something, maybe. So yes, please, if please, somebody please. has a question, break the rule, go on task to, to make it more interactive. Of course, I would like to uh, thank you for this. Uh, for this uh, input because of course if you have any questions for Boyan what he is speaking you can uh, please interrupt uh, us and ask the question immediately because this is a friendly open discussion and if you have any question about or comment even about what Boyan has said please follow it <laughs> thank you from my side, this was a very clear introduction. Thank you for that, a very clear definition. And I would like to call to Tomáš Haverda. What, uh, how does benefit businesses from CRM? How do they benefit? Yes, CRM helping uh, clients uh, to more better organize uh, their main processes, uh, companies' processes. Uh, so usually uh, when I'm starting to cooperate with a customer, uh they have not so well organized processes and uh, for instance uh, by implementing crm system uh, then they can uh, optimize the, their main processes thank you thomas uh, raj do you agree what is your experience about this yes uh, crm is necessary as as i discussed in uh, my intro so CRM is necessary for, for the old industry, like small, medium, or large. No matter what is your staff sizing or your client sizing. So the CRM is totally automatic your process. Like, like uh, do you everyone has heard about the sales force as well as up support? It's all kind of the CRMs. To, um, more productivity in your work as well as your uh, output within a uh, less time so that that is uh most important of the crm is named yes and we have a first question in the chat so please access also the chat this is the button below on the right side below down and below in the and if you have anybody from the audience has any questions please write under this video and we everybody of us will be very happy to answer all your questions uh, boyan do you want to react to what has been said so far yes the we... question is so uh, what are some key considerations when selecting and implementing a crm system it's uh, almost two lines and we can speak two three hours about this because um I think uh, what we need to say here is that uh, first we need to start from the company business model, so how the company operates in general. Then uh, in each company, even startups, they need to have like a clear picture about the processes. Sometimes people say I'm a freelancer, one person. But you also have your own processes, how to contact the, the potential clients, how to answer, etc. In many cases, this is not written, but you know it by heart. And uh, here it comes uh, uh, the, the questions that we need to ask the companies is uh, when searching for a solution to help you. Uh, sometimes clients don't know that it's called CRM but they want to improve some of the processes, some of the actions, for example, to make a quotation, it takes uh, several hours to, to write it down or put it on a Word document or something. So this is obviously a pain. And uh, then they start searching for quick order, uh, offer preparation, etc. And then they start realizing that it's not only the quotation, but it's uh, to get the details about company, 
uh, maybe to uh, segment it a bit. So for searching a, a CRM solution, a company, whether it is small or big, it is very important to uh, at least write down, maybe not the final version of what you're really looking for. So the key functionalities, the key problems that you have, and then search for potential solutions. This is very important to have it written and to communicate it because when you send your this your request to different providers, because now if you go on the online and you type CRM, I mean I don't know how many millions uh, results will come up. And then get some promoted, um, maybe based on the regional budget co company spent the results. And you need to choose the yes, right yes, yes, yes. And then from your requirements list, contacting one another, there will be counter questions. So then slowly you will improve the uh, requests or your requirements because people say, ah, do you want to have? Uh, automated chat or something to and but this is this is something that um, with many companies it's it's not just I, I need the CRM to do this but and what is the next step is um, to align these requirements with your processes as again as I said uh, if we uh, have um, a couple of processes to be covered, then it's important to see how strict these processes are. And uh, the processes uh, very often when we go on implementation, it's, a, it's very simple. Customer calls, you make quotation on the, but it looks like so simple that you have nothing to do. But then they start this exception. So they start like, decision trees in, in the business so this customer but he needs a little bit more specific quotation or something like this he doesn't want a quotation at all he just wants to interact it's a, <laughs> it's a lead or something so this is um, about the selecting uh, the crm as a basis we can talk a lot about this about implementing uh, this is uh, another story. Uh, the best CRM is the CRM that is used by most of people <laughs> because very often uh, you find complex CRMs with. Oh, you want to see that now? Uh, Boyan, do not forget your implementation idea. You will, I will yes, continue okay. with you I, I immediately. <laughs> I would just like to welcome Eva Musilova and Andrei Koudela very warmly to this discussion. We have so far covered a brief introduction. We have so far covered uh, the what is the definition of CRM only, so you didn't miss anything. And now we are speaking about the question which is in the chat, which you can see in the chat. So. Um, I would uh, give you a word briefly, Eva and Andre. Just uh, wait a second. Let Boyan finish his idea about implementation. Boyan, you can continue. Thank you. Okay, and that's it. No, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so the idea of implementation of CRM. Um, first, uh, if you find the solution that answers your written requirements, and written is important because when you put it on paper, you think it. Then uh, if you uh, find a solution that uh, will cover predefined processes, so most likely this is the one, then implementing this is uh, putting the solution, the CRM solution to work. Uh, and so one of the tricks about the CRM is uh, you need actually to most likely sell it to everybody who will use it because uh, from different departments and people in the company it will answer different pains 
So, for example, the top management uh, may see the overview of the company's activities in terms of, let's say, sales, service, or marketing activities. Then uh, middle management will be able to manage their sales team. They will be able to manage their marketing team or uh, interactions with marketing agencies. And the service department uh, will be able to organize better the requests that they have. Uh, uh, and uh, the thing is, when you have so many different roles, the hardest thing is to to make the change because people they have very nice excel sheets they have very good word templates and they work perfectly or they're using like google sheets or some other automation and uh, when you move it to another system it's a change management so it's people they need to get rid of their old habits and to move to something new and uh, this is uh, normally the thing that is uh, very often killing such projects because uh, uh, this change management the human part is uh, to consider most so this is why i said that uh, the best like crm is the one that is uh, most widely used maybe even not necessary with uh, all the small features needed but when you have many people from company uh, finding value to do it and uh, this solution is doing job for them personally as well um, as a team uh, this is the trick to to have a successful implementation so the the human factor this is uh, my uh, opinion is the most crucial to do. The good thing about implementation of CRM is if you prepare it, uh, might be uh, really fast uh, in some cases. If you uh, run after small like achievements and values delivered, and um, the CRM implementation in most companies, uh, the return on the investment of this project is the highest because uh, people start loving it for some. It, it's helping to, like, uh, Raj said, to automate some of the activities to so the 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 software is doing uh, your repetitive and ineffective uh, work. So. I'm open for questions so comments if somebody wants to say. Uh, welcome to Chavda. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like hello, to welcome everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Um, Andro, would you like to introduce yourself in regards to CRM systems, please? Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, uh, well, small introduction. Um, by coincidence, <laughs> I happened to become a Keflow guide a few years ago. Um, Keflow is a really tiny and minimalistic software for uh, leading uh, small companies like, I don't know, a uh, hundred of employees at maximum and uh, the how they are called, the alone workers, how they are called. Uh, the word, please help me. <laughs> he who works alone just for himself is a uh, solo promoter. Yeah, yeah, yeah solo promoter. Thank you, thank you so much. So, so this is system for for them, and uh, I kind of uh, fell in love in it because it has one great advantage. On other hand, on one hand, it's minimalistic, and on the other hand, it does everything your company needs 
and it can connect all important parts uh, together. It starts with some uh, working with leads. Uh, it uh, consists also of a uh, CRM. It can uh, be an address book of your clients. It can work with your projects. Uh, it can work with your tasks and measure how your people are working as well. It can do some time management, uh, measure time spent on on tasks or projects and, and so on. And you can also make uh, arrangements. Contract. Contracts. You can also electronically sign contracts in between you and your employees or your customers in the same system as well. And it has uh, many, many other features, but still it's minimalistic. I can't understand how they did it, but it really works. <laughs> and I kind of fell in love with it. I started to be a consultant who helps companies to adopt this system and to live in it and to build uh, company processes uh, so that they can uh, squeeze as many juice as possible from the system. And uh, this is how uh, my ideas on CRM got uh, really changed because uh, now when I'm asked what is important about CRM, uh, the first question I say is, is it connected to the other systems in the company or not? If not, not interested, goodbye. If yes, show me, wanna know more. So this is uh, both introduction of myself and uh some little notice to to boyan and thank you for your introduction of CRM. thank you very much andro i would like to uh before i give word to shavdar to briefly introduce himself i would like to mention that you are listening to the business crm talk my name is yuri borch thank you very much for listening everybody who is listening and uh, we have experts here on crm we are talking about customer relationship management and uh, every time that somebody speaks we will give a space to the questions to the comments so if you uh, want to mention something which is on your mind which has said boyan or ondra Tomáš or Rash or Keith even or Shavdar, you are welcome to questions. The main question here, which is before us here at this moment is in the chat. And this is what are some key considerations when selecting and implementing CRM systems. So let's flow, let it flow. And let uh, if there are no questions, maybe Shavdar can briefly introduce himself and then we, he can, we can continue in our discussion. Yeah, hello everyone, I, I will. Uh present myself uh, in shortly. So I'm a strategy and general management consultant. I have a, a company that is named Business Model Design. And so uh, I'm certified, CMC certified management consultant and certified ICF coach. And so my uh, my way of work is to go into a company and to move it uh, from the current to, to, to the desired situation. That's it. So uh, I, I'm consulting uh, implementation of uh, uh, business software in companies. And my main point of view is uh, to define uh, processes in, in the companies and find uh, the software uh, what what software uh, uh, the uh, proper apps of the software that uh, govern this uh, process so the software could don't have everything that company needs but uh, uh, as you as you said uh, uh, before while uh, it it can have enough. That's it for now. 
Thank you very you. much, Abhinav. Thank you. Thomas, please. You asking me for what uh, now? Thomas, if you have any idea about uh, what is uh, the key consideration when selecting and implementing CRM systems, or if you want to react to anything, uh, you can, you are welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, key for implementing uh, CRM is uh, that uh, there is uh, some uh, process map already existing. Yeah. The uh, key for me is uh, first uh, to refresh or build up process map and then to start uh, to automatize, automatize processes. So first is to optimize processes, uh, second is di to digitalize and uh, automatize, automate, make automatization and also make robotization of some processes. So for me it's key uh, if uh, the company already has a process map. Uh, very good thank you and i want i forgot to mention something to respect the financial directors we also need to be clear about the budget that we have in mind and in this budget uh, especially for implementation uh, we need to consider licenses consulting fees but also some hidden costs related to people that your people may need to work on two different systems they need to dedicate time that is totally not specific on what they are really doing so to be involved in the uh, and uh, a response to Chardar this is what I also started uh, very important and uh, I'm glad to have him here uh, with any, uh, let's say, CRM implementation and uh, business management software, you need to start literally with what his business company name is, with the business model of the company, then to drill down to the individual processes to define uh, what your pains are, what your needs to optimization, and uh, to create a um uh, as uh, discussed uh, what your requirements are to find you and change and then move to the cats if yeah, there is a cat there it will eat you <laughs> so uh, this is um, this is briefly and uh, thank you thomas for uh, your input because uh, this is something that many companies neglect so they start by briefly describing the process but it's like the requirements they don't put it in written so the process is oh it's very easy like client cost etc when you describe it and then you say now let's see if next call you can manage with what you read and then you start putting exceptions for so <laughs> then it shows that uh, something very simple like making a coffee could be really <laughs> a nightmare if you don't describe it into enough details to, to really cover the, the can piece. i yeah can i easy uh, share uh, monitor and uh, show yes, some yes. examples yes, yes, of, of course of course process map. Yes, of course. Uh, please, just, please do it. i will give you open. permission just a second one moment please i will give you permission tomas I will try to give you permission. I uh, will try. Just imagine I'm working with some company and uh, starting mm -hmm. some digitalization, automatization, and robotization. But first, I'm asking uh, for process map, uh, which they doesn't have. Uh, so we're starting to uh, design the process map and uh, just uh, for example, uh, show you. Uh, because uh, what I'm asking first, uh, it's uh, about the uh, main processes, yeah, processes uh, which uh, earning monies to the companies, and uh, this is key uh, for me uh, to uh, automatize these processes by CRM. So there uh, is uh, CRM is for automatization and the digitalization main processes in company, and uh, I will start uh, to share if. Uh, I yes. Thomas, tell me, uh, can you share or not at this moment? Can you share? 
Yeah, uh, yes, just give me. Coming. Yeah, do you have? See your you can see it. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Okay, so uh, there is uh, some company, Czech companies, uh, producing uh, some foods, uh, and uh, there is a description of main processes at this company, and uh, each uh, main process has uh, some uh, separate uh, activities, uh, starting to uh, propag some, mar some marketing, sales, uh, delivery, customer care, and uh, to have uh, money uh, on the company. Uh, and uh, then there are some support processes, uh, which uh, here is uh, some laboratory, quality management, uh, some maintenance, uh, energetic, uh, then some accounting and uh, some uh, sales and uh, Nakup is uh, purchase, purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, just to give you example uh, that uh, this is I'm asking uh, when I'm uh, starting to uh, help us with some CRM implementation. Yes, thank you, Thomas. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And are there any questions or comments from anybody? If not, I would like to welcome here uh, I see opportunity. This is probably our colleague Roman Polak. Welcome warmly, Roman, and uh, be welcome. And uh, if you want, you can even introduce yourself or you can stay and listen. It's up to you. I will leave it on you. Nice to meet you all. Uh, what are you here? Uh, my name is Roman, but my camera is today off. I, I contacted my uh, IT, then uh, they opened me the resources by the camera because I have today problem with Wi-Fi module, with microphone and camera and camera leaf. Then I'm sorry, I have IC opportunity. It means some international business about raiding community, uh, which is providing from Czech to now exactly to seven countries and we would like to be growing. Nice to meet you. Uh, and I would like to be uh, hearing and to the CRM, I have uh, maybe some points what would like be interesting to you. Thank you. You're muted. Thank you, thank you for the note. I would like to thank you for introduction, Roman. Uh, we each of us has a very interesting CRM business here and projects. So please be open to share in the chat if you want to cooperate with each other. Don't hesitate and I will afterwards, I will send the emails to each of you here to connect, to make friends, to cooperate together to make a better CRM world. So let's uh, continue uh raj do you have any um feedback for us about this crm implementation please mm, yes uh, like uh, i said buan and thomas is everyone clear all about the crm what is the necessary of the crm and uh, how it uh, continue with the crm and growth uh, everyone business right so yeah it's uh, necessary for all the industry as well as uh, businesses too so yeah thank you uh it's same uh, same opera same kind of uh, thinking about the uh, buhan and uh, thomas yeah thank you both of you great thank you very much guys and i prepared of course i prepared many questions and i will now put another question to the chat but if you have any questions between each other or among each other you can also come up with questions, interesting questions, because uh, please help me to generate some interesting question about CRM. Help me, please. I have a little comment to Thomas. Um, uh, so uh, and maybe Chavdar can contribute to this. Uh, I saw the diagram that you showed with the departments and the processes. Uh, are you using some software to help your colleagues to describe the process or you're using just a regular Word document to share or something? Yes, uh, I will show, I will write it uh, to the chat, yeah? Yes. 
I'm using uh, this uh, program. Ah, Draw.io. Uh, yeah, it's universal, yeah. like, but you have a lot of, uh, it's good. You can actually export uh, your processes and then share it with other people too. Very good. Thank you. And Chavdar, do you want to uh, say something about what you can recommend on using to draw the processes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you said uh, before, uh, the business model is very important. Uh, it, it's uh, appeared to uh, to my work uh, in in my work that uh, the process sometimes is uh, wrong con concepted. So uh, it is not uh, only important to to uh, to examine uh, step by step. This is important. The concept of the process is to be uh, right. Uh, and that uh, lead to uh, to other products in in the company and lead to a simple software uh, implementation. Uh, another thing is, uh, you're talking about uh, CRM only. That means uh, the the process that's connected with customers' uh, processes. I think and. Uh, the important is visualization, and we have to to have in mind that the software is only only a, a program that uh, uh, manage information. Uh, the software itself don't solve problems of the company. Uh, it must uh, solve problem with information and having this information available managers have, can uh, take uh, proper decisions yes thank you for your input Chandar. and also if you, you have a wrong process and then it's creating let's say some bottlenecks some places that it stop if you automate it you just explode at this bottleneck so it could that's be really right, a business right. stopping and this is very important and uh, it's very good what uh, Thomas shared that uh, you, st you need to start preparing a good foundation because CRM ERP is okay nowadays uh, maybe uh, middle or large business they cannot live without this small they can kind of like survive solo pronouns and two three people but for big businesses uh, if you put the wrong foundation, you just multiply ineffectiveness. And then it's uh, like the guys that they were pushing a square wheel. <laughs> and they say, we're busy to, to look the, 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 the round one is better for you to. So it's uh, getting uh, uh, the, the business model is foundation because uh, as Deming said, uh, 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 the system is important. System is balanced forces uh, if, uh, on the company. Nothing is most important from ev everything. Okay. And also to, to put something, uh, very often uh, when we speak about CRM, uh, many companies focus only on sales. Of course, sales is critical, very important for the business but then uh, crm is not only for the sales in fact the success of the crm depends on the more people and department of course relevant you put into the crm uh, the better outcome will come uh, out of the solution and let's again like uh, state that so you need to review the business model processes requirements budget <laughs> somebody needs to pay for it and then uh, implementation uh, it should be with the uh, clear goal with deadlines responsibility so here we have like uh, project management too and another thing to put in the implementation one of the worst thing is that uh, when you turn the implementation project into process or something that never ends so it's good to to have a clear border of what we should do let's say in one two five months depends it could be multinational it could be uh, much wider implementation but uh, you need 
to build project with fixed start, fixed end, clear responsibilities. To uh, so, but uh, maybe to walk through the next like uh, bullet point of the meeting. <laughs> Yes, I'm writing to the chat uh, some feedback for Boyan. Uh, this is what I like about your talk. Clear responsibilities is very important. And I wrote this note to the chat. Now, guys, we are in the middle, approximately in the middle of our talk or behind the middle. We will make a small break for coffee, water and toilet. Please be back uh, in one minute at uh, 12, uh, 12. 12 13 check time and enjoy the break and we will be back in one minute for with more coffee <laughs> we can use it for informal chats or talks of course of course of course by all means by all means. okay uh, Kate, and what are you doing what's your uh, what are you what's your uh, I, I'm, in, I'm in the health and wellness industry health, I, okay. I, I have people reverse health challenges like cardiovascular disease and other other health issues rehabilitation kind of yes or no well uh, avoidance and repair so if you if you have somebody that maybe has high blood pressure uh, we can we can help the body to actually clean its own cardiovascular system so the blood pressure can come back down if we have people who have had a stroke we can help them to melt that melt that clot in the brain to get their function back in the body. Uh, so we we know how to repair the cardiovascular system, the immune system, the pH balance of the body and the gut microbiome. Mm -hmm. uh, once you give the body the fuel to do those jobs, the body will start repairing all its own repair list that it already has, but has not the fuel to, to address. Mm -hmm. And when you say we, uh, how many you are? No, well, I, I've been developing uh, teams of people uh, for the last 15 years that are interested in this area and who want to help other people to take control of their long-term health and wellness also. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Maybe you can post your website in the chat or something to, to hear. Yeah, the website, the website is not that helpful uh, because it's just for people to access what they need from a nutrition perspective. I do uh -huh. I do everything on Zoom. I, I do one-to-ones with Zoom, educate, support, answer questions. And if they need to access something, I give them the site at that point purely to access. So there's no real point in looking at a website because they don't okay. know what they're looking for. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And because I like because I like the idea, Boyan, of uh, informal networking, I would like to keep it running for a couple of more minutes. So let's uh, keep it running before we ad address the last question, which I prepared for today. Informal networking is running still. <laughs> I like it. And and we have a we have a network meeting coming up, don't we, uh, for for this purpose on the twelfth? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Definitely. Thanks for mentioning that. Anyway, Ondro, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, where you are now? Where, Which part of the country are you in, Ondro, now? Microphone. I'm right in Prague just now. Nice, nice. It doesn't I mean, look like Prague, really, but um but on, i'm on the not in the center really and if you would get out of my uh of my room and uh look around from the balcony you would definitely not believe that you are in the city because there is all around this just some green and trees and a few small houses and so on <laughs> you you would it's one month since I was in Prague, I attended the Innovative Digital Expo where I met uh, oh, yeah. uh, and uh, it, it was a great event and this is how we met on, uh, in person. And, mm. uh, but uh, I didn't have a chance to, to walk and to do my photography in Prague. I did some pictures ah. during the event, I like photography. but. Uh, maybe next time, next event, live will come and uh, 
Guys, I would like to continue with the main CRM talk now. Thank you for being <laughs> informal as well. And uh, I prepared two more questions actually about tailoring special needs for customers and security. But I would like to skip those two questions. We can come back to them because my question, which is really interesting for me, what are the newest trends for the future in CRM? Can you address that question? Because this is really interesting for me, the newest trends. And if you want, you can also mention security and special needs for tailoring special, special needs for customers or mention the newest trends. It's up to you. you can choose from these three questions. Okay. Can I start because I have to finish? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, I have to leave soon. Uh, so according to me, uh, trends of CRM is uh, to more uh, connect uh, to suppliers and uh, customers uh, means uh, that uh, some uh, supply channel management uh, is uh, now uh, the tool calling and uh, this is i see uh, the trend uh, to uh, integrate as much as possible uh, your uh, information systems with your suppliers and uh, with your main uh, customers uh, to be everything automatized uh, means logistic uh, and uh, purchasing and uh, such a processes so uh, i i have to finish and leave uh, thank you uh, everybody thank you. Uh, for nice discussion, I'm uh, like to meet you, and uh, I'm uh, putting uh, to uh, to the chat uh, my contacts. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Me, uh, for a next discussion and uh, cooperation. Uh, have a nice day. Bye. 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 Thank you for your input. So should I continue about the future? Yes, please, please, please continue. Okay, about the future of the CRM. Uh, custom features and security, all this is important. I will start with the future. Future is uh, always connected with the past. So what is important is uh, to keep an eye on the foundation because the first CRMs was like really uh, on paper. So people were writing down in, let's say, in a small shop who came and the details maybe they started knowing who has the regular requests etc the future uh, now it's uh, very trendy to mention artificial intelligence machine learning uh, and uh, of course uh, a lot of trends of uh, to reduce, let's say, really the coding involved in the customizing the system. So the CRMs that are with no coding, of course, uh, our friends programmers are always needed because even no coding, you need to have a bit different way of thinking. And um, so this is, uh, Almost all uh, CRM tools nowadays are like cloud solutions. So they are software as a service. Um, so it's a, normally a subscription. Very few are still kept into the, let's say, legacy system. You buy a license and you can use it. But this is, let's say, for the most developed world, there are many uh, Times people go to the root, so the solutions uh, are needed also in the places where internet is uh, not that accessible. So, and when you don't have a, 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 an internet, how I explain it to the customer is when it's too bright weather, so it's a good, there are no clouds, so your cloud is not accessible, and you still need. To, to have your uh, CRM uh, available on the mobile or on the computer, even without internet. Why is this important to mention? Because it depends on the business, uh, even in, uh, uh, in the world with internet connectivity. Sometimes you may face places without good internet connection. And once, for example, if it's a salesperson or somebody, uh, who is without internet, and once you put him to go back to his old Excel sheet, then uh, you may lose him. So it's his uh, Excel sheet may still uh, become the, the only source of truth. 
And when it's on the Excel, it's not like shared with the other people, you may lose the connection, the relationship first, not about the system, maybe with your colleagues first, and then with your customers uh, and to update. So these are some considerations for the future. So many uh, CRM providers, they uh, also provide this offline functionality available to cover such. Uh, uh, okay, thank you, Andre. Uh, nice to meet you. And, uh, uh, we can can I give a very quickly word? Sorry to interrupt you. Yes, I will sure. give a word back immediately. Uh, Andre, can you, would you like to say goodbye or say something? also before you yeah, go yeah, yeah. just goodbye i'm just looking for the linkedin uh profile address to to share with you yes please do it definitely we will be happy and also uh i will send email to everybody who is here today uh so that you can contact each other yes thank you thank you for him. thank you bye good day. So this is about the future. So when we look in the future, we need to, as I said, to see what was in the past and what is now. Uh, as, uh, what I remember when uh, in my childhood, that they say with year 2000, all the cars will fly and such things, which apparently didn't happen. So about customization uh, and the functionalities, as it was mentioned by uh, several people from the comments, it's very important to CRM not to be like another silo in the company. So it's good to have a good interaction with uh, potentially the rest of the systems to exchange uh, information. Uh, this also needs to be planned uh, properly and managed uh, so like to have information from your ERP system, from your website, from uh, how to feed uh, back the website. So these uh, integrations uh, uh, a crucial part of practically every uh, project. And this also maximizes the return on your investment in the CRM. And to see what was else in the question, uh, so it was customization, uh, features, future, and... And privacy, but... Uh, uh, privacy, yes, of course, privacy. Yeah, we have time, we have time for privacy. Go on, Boyan, we still have time. Yes. Well, this is for the features and uh, also, uh, again, in the implementations and features, uh, sometimes the small features can kill the project because people focus on something very small specific and um, very often it's uh, maybe uh, part of the uh, change management and decision making of course it's more important sometimes to put it on hold and to solve the uh, to manage uh, how to uh, arrange the foundations rather than stick on something small it may take much longer time and then you may end up in uh, like uh, you cannot go live so called so to start really using the system because of small features so all these features and uh, this is part of the project management and uh, from both sides let's say consultants and uh, provider and the client uh, it should be very carefully managed what you really uh, want to do because uh, some relatively small uh, development or over customization. Also, customizations, if not done properly, uh, you need to listen to the provider of the software, to their guidelines. They actually, these new features can be classified like, let's say, customizations. So to use the standard product to develop something or developments. Developments could be uh, depend on the system inside the CRM or could be something extra. 
This also needs to be managed carefully because one development may lock you. So it may uh, be a problem to get the newest versions of the software. So this is, uh, uh, this is how you should consider uh, any uh, development. Because if you speak to the programmer, they may try to, of course, they want to earn money or they don't know the whole system to create some uh, uh, functionality that could be also maybe not fully, but in 80% from customization uh, that is more or less standard or um, you may end up with duplicating so extra activity that is needed. So this is uh, regarding the, if somebody has a question about uh, features or any comment to add to what I said. Thank you, Boyan, for your words. It was a very interesting talk. I would like to do one final round before we end today, because we will end soon. Uh, would you like to say something about today's meeting? Uh, please, Rash, uh, would you like to share something or a question about Boyan, Boyan's talk? Uh, no, this is a great discussion with everyone, uh, most of Boyan and Thomas, which is a great experience about the CRM and all kind of things. Yeah, but uh, yeah, lots of new things I'm learning from both of you as well as uh, nice to meet you all, right? And uh, yeah, we will mm -hmm. more interesting talking with uh, and sharing the knowledge with each other and grow yes, together. <laughs> Yes, thank yes. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much, everybody. I would like to thank you for listening. Also, all, all our listeners, if you have any questions for anybody here, please put under this video, please put your questions. We will answer every question that you have. And guys, I thank you so much for being here with me today. And uh, I wish you a great day. And thanks for discussing about CRM systems business talk. We have uh, some uh, two, three minutes. Do we have? Yes, I want to cover course. the security um, yes. uh, because it is important. Uh, security of the CRM should be part of the overall company uh, security. It's uh, so-called information security. And then uh, this is another area of IT, and not only IT, but about the company, how you manage your information. Uh, you should think also in, in the security that when you have a cloud solution, it's cloud is like somebody else's computer. So you are still responsible to get maybe local copies of your data and to align with the provider about the security best practices and to follow them. So on that note, thank you uh, for invitation to speak. You can connect uh, with me on LinkedIn for the uh, and uh, you will distribute the contacts and I'm yes, open to, to speak to everybody. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye, bye. And I have to say thank you for having you here. And I hope that we'll going to connect each other and discuss any business and management problems yes this is a great idea actually Shavdar because I would like to uh, business and management problems are important to discuss and I would like to create a networking in the future about this topic if you don't mind and I will invite you personally yeah I, it's a great idea I have uh, um, I'm working with my own strategies and uh, instruments I um, Everything that I have learned and uh, uh, read, uh, I have as a source, not for the solutions. Solutions have to be in the individual for for all of this. And I think we can exchange ideas here and to be useful for each other. Definitely. Thank you, Chanda, for joining. Bye for me now. Because bye. Uh, bye. Everybody. Bye. so bye.